Okay, everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about color correction in Lightworks. This is Lightworks running on Ubuntu Linux, and I'm going to do a pretty somewhat basic tutorial on color correction. So the first thing is Lightworks does have a uh, waveform and vector scope. It, you right-click on the, uh, the player window, click Video Analysis, and it pops up. See, a lot of people don't even know that Lightworks has this because it's in kind of a weird spot. So that's step number one, the color correction. You, you can see the, um, when I play the clip, you can, you can see the scopes uh, reacting as I play it. So step number two is I want to apply the color correction cl uh, filter. Click effects. And I already have it selected. You click video, um, the categories here in color, color corrector. Now you can add it to the current clip or you can, uh, which will put it just on this clip here, or you can click uh, current clip unfolded, which gives it its own um, section of the timeline, which I usually use because then you can apply it to every single clip simply by clicking and dragging it uh, like thus. And now it would be on this clip as well. So that's what I usually use. Okay, now this is me putting a flashlight inside a kayak, which, yeah, as you can see, the video quality is kind of, as it could be better. So first step I like to do is I like to black and um, white balance it. Let's just rearrange these windows a little. Well, it can be a little tough to see everything. Yeah, that's good enough. Shrink the timeline. Click balance, the balance tab on the color correcting filter. And you basically want to pick the brightest spot in the image to white balance it. That's not even going to change anything doing that. Now if I clicked over here, it would just get way blown out just like that. So I'm going to undo it. And the brightest spot generally. Black balance, click the, uh, you know, the eyedropper. I did that for the white as well. The eyedropper next to where it says white. And now I just click the eyedropper next to where it says black. And I'll find a very dark section and click. And that did change it a hair. You can see it is generally a little bit darker. Which as you can see it needed to be. Because when I take this filter off. The waveform is um, above zero. Which you want it at zero. When I click it back on. Look at that. Pulls it right to zero. So generally with the waveform monitor. You want the darkest colors to be right around zero. And the brightest colors to be right around 100. As you can see with this, I am, well, you probably can't see, but I'm slightly below 100. So I'm going to bring that up. So I was on the balance tab. Now I'll click main, and I have shadows, midtones, and highlights. Well, to bring up the um, bright sections, you click the slider on the highlights, and you merely bring it up or down. In this case, I'm going to bring it up. Now, if you, can, if you bring it up too much, then you're going to wash out the bright colors. You see that? See how all the... The colors are just getting mashed into the 100 mark. You don't want to do that. You want to just barely touch 100. Now, modern digital cameras can actually go above 100. They record in super white, which will be 110, and they retain the details. So chances are you could go above 100 if you want to. Lightworks doesn't really let you. Now, the black looks okay. If I wanted to do blacks, I would click shadows, and I could bring the shadows up and down. But blacks really looks pretty good right about there I must admit I'm not a huge fan of the color correction capabilities in the light works they seem pretty basic um, the vector I don't really like the scopes a whole lot but they do work you can also uh, mess with the colors themselves by clicking RGB and you have several categories gamma contrast brightness and gain uh, I don't do a whole lot with this but now you, you can see it on the on the waveform monitor when I'm adjusting the slider. You can, you can see it uh, adjusting. But I like to keep them within the lines is what I'm trying to do. The only thing I don't like about Lightworks one is where is green on here? I guess there really isn't one. I use Final Cut Pro as well in there. Um, Final Cut Pro's scopes are a lot better. But as you can see, blue is pretty much within these two lines and so is red pretty much. And you also have your vectroscope, which shows your color saturation. I try to get it close to the uh, target points here. And you can do that but just by going back to the main window and bringing up the saturation. 
if you, if you bring it up too much, you'll see it starts to just kind of pixelate, which I take that as being a bad thing. It means the image is going to be pixelated. So I try to bring it up to the point where it's not pixelated, however much that can be. So uh, it seems, let's see, about 21%, a little over 22. It's, it's, I brought it up, but it's not pixelating. So when I click off, you can. this is what it looks like without the effect, and this is what it looks like with it. It's a subtle difference in this. Well, let's check out this one here, and I will apply another color correction filter. I'm going to append it as well. Get rid of this window. This one has uh, a lot more going on for it. Let's, let's extend it a bit. Find a good section here. So this clip, it's immediately telling me that it's dark. The brightest area is around 90. Uh, so I can definitely bring up the the um, brightness. I'm going to try to white balance on the wall here first. And doing that caused the colors to become mashed up at the top. Let's try and black balance on something as well inside the kayak here. It's pretty dark. And now you can go to main and you can manually adjust the brightness and the uh, darkness. I'm going to bring the brightness down. Just, uh, bring it up a little. Okay, that's touching the top and the shadows mid-tones right around here this is about what a mid-tone you can bring the mid-tones up to brighten up the overall image as well this slider here now the mid-tones are up around 60 this makes a difference bringing those up now they're up around 70 I'll keep them up just above 60 this image has a lot more color saturation. You can see on the slider here, it's right near the targets. So I don't I don't really need to bring the saturation up too much in this image. And now I'm looking at the RGB. And I, I personally think the light work scopes are a bit of a mess. Uh, let's see, well, what can I do with that? I'm just, I'm personally just messing with it here. Let's put all these back at one. These here, I'm not great at reading these on Lightworks scopes, but in terms of the brightness of the image, this is before, this is after. And you can clearly see a nice difference there. See, before, clearly underexposed. Mid-tones are way down here, not near uh, 40. And after, up at the top, mid-tones are right around 60. And just for the colors, let's see if I bring the satur if I mess with the saturation a bit. See, bringing it down might not cause it to pixelate quite as much. See, when I bring it back down, I bring it back down to the original. Whereas before, I'm going to undo what I just did. After doing the color correcting before, you can see the saturation is starting to, to pixelate a bit here. If I bring it down, it's going to bring it, it, it reduces the pixelation, but it brings, this yeah, saturation slider that is, it reduces the pixelation, but it brings it back down to where it was before I applied the effect. So it makes it look a little bit better, reducing the saturation in this image. And this here will require a different set of uh, color correcting. As you can see for the the uh, basics of it with this image, um, this is before, this is after, clearly better. This image here, not a ton of difference before, after. It was, it was it's already, the, the spots that you want to uh, brighten up are already too bright. It's going to wash out the image. So this is essentially it for doing some basic color correcting with Lightworks. I'm going to mess around with the RGB sliders a bit more and see if I can really get more of a grasp on the RGB um, 
way the uh, results in the waveform monitor for the RGB. Thanks for watching.